I was diagnosed with Parkinson's in April of 2010. When we started seeing a movement disorder specialist, it was more in depth conversation about how you were feeling, what you're doing uh, to help yourself, and what kind of treatment opportunities were out there or therapies that could help offset those symptoms. A movement disorder specialist is a neurologist who's after residency has received extra training in treating movement disorders and doing research in movement disorders. At the Michael J. Fox Foundation, we work very closely with the patient community, and we talk a lot about the importance of seeing the right doctor and getting the right care for your Parkinson's. But we realize that that's easier said than done. I think there's probably a lot of reasons that patients don't see movement disorder specialists, but if they are diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, there's already, there's limited information about where to go and what to do with that. Even their physician might not know who to send them to. I think another problem is there's not very many movement disorder specialists. The initial appointment with the uh, movement disorder specialist in Philadelphia was a very long wait period. Being a new patient, I had to wait about six months for an appointment. Um, there were no movement disorder specialists that I could find in my local area. As our population ages, there are going to be more and more people affected by Parkinson's disease. The number of new doctors who are trained in Parkinson's each year is less than 50 or 60 in, this, in the United States, and this is simply not enough to keep up with the demand. The Michael J. Fox Foundation and our longtime partner, the Edmund J. Safra Foundation, are working together to increase the flow of neurology residents into movement disorders as a specialty. We sponsor a two-day immersion program to expose neurology residents to movement disorders as a specialty and increase their interest and enthusiasm for the specialty. And in 2014, we launched the Edmund J. Safra Fellowship in Movement Disorders. This program trains movement disorder specialists not only as clinicians, but also as researchers. As an Edmund J. Safra Fellow, I spend most of my time seeing patients, but I also spend time doing clinical research. In order to decide what is important to research, we look at our experiences in clinic. And then whenever we do research, the ultimate goal is to be able to use the findings that um, we discover in research to be able to benefit our patients in clinic. Each year the fellowship program awards funding to five academic medical centers across the world to train a new fellow over a two-year period. My future plans on movement disorders is to continue as a, a clinician scientist in movement disorders. Our clinic is very rich in fellows from you know Switzerland, Saudi Arabia, Spain, um, Canada, the States, you know really all over. So. I think the idea of the Edmund J. Safra Fellowship of kind of building a network, if you like, of uh, movement disorder physicians for the future, I think is a reality. Um, and you know, I feel very lucky to be part of that. There's a persistent myth that there's really little to be done for people with Parkinson's. The truth is that research is really exploding with options for doctors and people with Parkinson's. And that's really what we want young neurologists to know. I think research now is really expanding our understanding of the brain particularly with Parkinson's disorders, the understanding of the molecular biology, the genetics. And I think the combination together really is probably going to enhance the number of new drugs, therapies, interventions that we can give to these patients. Movement disorders is, I think, a special field because you do relate so much to the patient. Looking at the patient, watching the patient, talking to the patient, understanding their problem, and looking at their patterns of movement. And that's a transformation that takes place in that two years of the Edmund J. Safra Fellowship. My movement disorder specialist uh, has helped me realize how much more I can do with my life. They're there to work with you, work through different therapies with you, offer you different opportunities, um, and look at you as a person and make sure that I your treatment is going to help you fulfill the rest of your life.